Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to Rondell's Unpopular Opinion Podcast. If you have not already, please make sure that you not only like this video and give it a thumbs up, share if you can, leave a comment. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so every time that I upload a new podcast, you are in the know and that the notification bell is hit. Now, it's lit. <laughs> Okay, because we about to get into the topic of conversation today is none other than Offset, Cardi B, and Miss Jade. Okay, so let me just say this. I did not know or I was not aware of anything that was transpiring today on Instagram until someone had to tell me that something was going on because I was actually at work all day. Now, what I will say is this. I did catch... Cardi B and Offset's weekend with their children, they were actually at, because Offset does have other kids other than culture, okay? Y'all know that he's a father of four. He was actually with his kids and Cardi at, I believe it was something like a Sky Zone where they had like a family outing. The kids brought their friends. They were in like the bouncy house and Cardi was like in some type of like tube, like going up in the air, talking about get her out of there. They had a pretty much fun filled weekend. Then um, I also caught on Twitter how Spotify named Cardi B the most streamed female rapper on the U.S. Spotify uh, side of Spotify, the United States Spotify in 2019. I'm pretty sure I have Spotify. I'm pretty sure by this point that Cardi B is definitely in the billions when it comes to streams. So she was actually really excited about that endeavor. She actually, or that accolade rather, she did follow up with the post and she said, thankful and grateful. It's crazy because this year I ain't put out too much music and didn't record much gearing up for the new year and cooking up some good shit for y'all in 2020. Hopefully y'all love it. Thanks for your support. I love y'all. I'm nothing without y'all. Actually I am. I'm a mother. <laughs> Okay, so she did state that. So everything seemed copacetic until Miss Jade came up in the mix today, dropping these receipts. Okay, and I'm going to use receipts in quotation marks. Okay, so today Jade tried to break the internet by essentially posting these direct messages or these DMs on her Instagram account that she received from Offset, okay? So if many of you who, you know, are just now hearing of this and probably are not privy to what took place last year, I'm gonna give you somewhat of a synopsis of that. I'm gonna give you a close-up like uh, perspective being that I am from New York. I'm actually from the other side of High Bridge. Shout out to High Bridge, okay? So basically, what took place was, and this was like a media frenzy in New York. When I mean every news, uh, local news station here, every newspaper here, okay, was talking about the story. You could not look anywhere and not see Cardi B on the front of the newspapers. Now, this story was very, very crazy last year. If you did not know, Jade is actually Takashi 6 ix girlfriend now, present uh, day, okay? But back last year, Jade, I don't know if Jade is still working at Angels, but Jade was actually working at the Angel Strip Club out in Queens, okay? Her and her sister. They were actually bartenders there. It is not unlikely, okay, in New York culture to go and get you a BBL done, go and get your, your 360 lipo, okay, get your taxes, get snatched, or go down to DR, go down to Columbia, come back and be snatched, okay, and then go and work in the, the clubs and be either a stripper or be a bottle girl. It's common. Women do it. I ain't knocking it, okay? So Jade and her sister, who I believe she calls herself Batty G., Okay, they were working out at Angels Nightclub. Now, they got into two altercations, and I don't think that a lot of media entities are reporting this part. I believe that they are only posting that one incident happened. However, more than one incident did happen. There were two. On the second occasion, okay, Cardi was actually present in that second occasion. And... On both occasions, Jade and her sister G were attacked. Put it that way. There were fights that had broke out. 
One of them being at the Angels uh, nightclub. Okay. So the common denominator, clearly, if you know, you didn't know, is offset. Okay. So basically the meat and potatoes of it was that Jay was actually accused or there was rumors going around that Jade was actually messing around or you know had a sexual relationship with Offset now Jade initially when this had came up last year she had denied it she was stating that her and Offset had nothing to do with each other that she never you know had any sexual encounter with Offset and that was just that okay but clearly things got crazy things got physical Cardi didn't put physical hands on you know anybody but people within the entourage did and things got physical this was in two weeks of each other these two altercations after the second altercation g and j decided to seek legal counsel okay and they decided to press uh you know charges or basically you know pursue it legally okay so that is how Cardi B caught her case. That is how she caught her case. And when she caught the case, it was big, big news here in New York City. Now, we had people in front of the courthouse. People were like screaming her name, chanting her name. Like it was just crazy. Now, a lot of people were saying that all oh, that Jade, you know, G out here, you know, clout chasing. They just want dollars. Like they not real, you know real ninjas or real bees because if they was they wouldn't even be trying to get any legal entities involved they wouldn't be trying to press no charges they wouldn't be trying to sue that was those are straight sucker moves is you really about that life like what you would do is you would just pull up okay get the scrap in and y'all you know y'all thump it out and that's just it but clearly they wanted to go a different route a lot of people say that it is for money um which it could be you know what i'm saying or it could be just you know to really prove a point or really be out to go and you know destroy somebody i don't know the true ins and outs of what actually really took place because i wasn't there but my thing is is that here in the hood in new york you get run of down on you just get run of down on you take your l you got your b <laughs> okay that's just that you get your b that's it but um yeah this uh case is pretty serious cardi b has been indicted and she actually decided not to take the plea deal um i guess she feels as though she's not pleading guilty to something that she you know was not responsible for or didn't do but um it will be seen her case will be presented to a jury so that's pretty much the synopsis on that offset is the common denominator between that so that is why there is a tumultuous dynamic between offset jade and cardi b well fast forward to today okay so jade decided to actually go on her instagram and basically post these receipts that offset was in her dm telling her that he missed her for real okay at 1 36 or 8 am okay and she also put in the caption of that she said your wife and she added cardi b your wife i am cardi b has an open criminal case why are you writing me you don't respect her there's oh okay now see i'm gonna be the grandma popo that i am right now i'm gonna be the grandma popo that i am and if any of you want to talk shit about me being the grandma popo i have every right to be the grandma popo okay i have a master's degree so i'm, I'm really gonna be the grandma popo today now if you're gonna talk smack right if you're gonna talk smack I'm going to need you to have your grandma all the way in order. I'm going to need you to put it in Microsoft Word. Or if you type it on your phone, I'm going to need you to make sure that, you know, you have a second set of eyes reading it. Okay. Because I believe she meant to say T-H-E-R. Okay. T-H-E-R-E apostrophe S. Okay so there's emphasizing with the apostrophe there is so there is a lot of shit i haven't exposed yet 
but there she got it right the second time t-h-e-r-e -E apostrophe s there's a time for that okay i am well i'm the queen of talking ish now i'm backing it up so that was cute but next time make sure your grandma on point you're gonna talk smack okay make sure before the world sees it but anyway <laughs> but anyway so that's what she pretty much had to say on top of that now Cardi B did respond, Offset did respond by stating simply that Offset has been hacked. Um, Offset's social media probably in its entirety probably has been hacked, being that Twitter actually was able to catch these like crazy tweets of, um, well, people were screenshotting these tweets of what was coming from Offset's Instagram, uh, Twitter, Twitter page. And it was like, is that really him? Like this is some crazy stuff so allegedly the tweets happened first and then the instagram dms from jade followed after okay so i don't know all i know is is that um you know i'm gonna say this this needs to be a lesson to women who get themselves involved with men. And I said this before on my Nicki Minaj podcast with Kenneth Petty. This is what happens when you get yourself involved with men who are really not on your playing level. Because I don't care what y'all say. And it may be an unpopular opinion. But the Migos catapulted due to their association with Cardi B. Okay. Yes, they were popular in Atlanta and in the South where they're from. However, they were able to catapult and be crossover artists because of their affiliation to Cardi B. It could be an unpopular opinion for a lot of y'all. I really don't care, but that's how I feel, okay? Cardi B had the bigger platforms. Cardi B had the bigger uh, notoriety, okay? And Cardi B was on a platform where she was basically able to be seen to the world and to the masses, okay? She was on Love & Hip Hop. And you could say what you wanna say about it being Ratchet TV, it is a definitely, it is definitely a huge platform, okay? It definitely really truly is. Now, this is what happens when you just have dudes that are really just not on the same playing field as you, and you know what I'm saying? Your light is maybe shining a little bit brighter, and they will bring you down if you let them. I'm not saying that, you know, that this ain't, you know, a troll. Because it could potentially be. But what I'm saying is, is that I don't trust Offset. And I don't trust Jade. And the reason why I don't really trust Jade is because she's cut from the cloth of Takashi. And we all know how Takashi <laughs> done got down this entire uh, Rico case. Okay. We know, and y'all could say that, oh, well, they did X, Y, and Z to him. If you really about that life, and if you really an OG, you know, <laughs> like, loose lips sink ships. And, um, yeah, I just don't, I don't, we really know Takashi's a troll. So, I wouldn't be shocked that, you know, his girl is one, too. Um, he is set to probably come home very soon. People are saying that he's going to come home as early as, I believe, the end of this month. They believe he's going to get the uh, 5K1 letter, and he's definitely going to beat that case, being that he did cooperate and he did his part with the feds. Every much, Everyone pretty much involved in the case pretty much as you know, got their sentencing, and pretty much what we left to hear is when is Takashi going to come home because that is only a matter of time so I don't know whether or not Jade is trying to create buzz for Takashi when he comes home or whatever because that's going to be real soon or this is just Offset you know really doing this and if they really if Offset is really really doing this it really is effed up it, it really really is and sadly it would be great for Cardi, if it would, let's say if it would be, if it was to be him, it would be great to see Cardi go off and kind of really do her own thing and be on some like girl power type stuff and make a dope ass, you know, sophomore album and really like kill it. 
But we all know that that's not going to happen. We all know that she loves her husband and she's going to stick by him no matter what he do. So let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you feel as though it was offset in the DMs and he was probably on that lean again or something that he said he was off? I don't know. Do you think it was him or do you think that it was a troll? Do you think that maybe Jade and maybe her crew has something to even do with it? Let me know. Drop down in the comments. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. And I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.